Only nine days remain until the dreaded Cell games begin, despite feeling that Cell may still be stronger than him. Goku decides to take things easy and relax in the time remaining. Is that the right move, though? Hello everyone, Wayne Clark here, and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Goku and Gohan are finally out of the hyperbolic time chamber, staying as Super Saiyan, and see where we can go from there. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house. Huh? Chi-Chi? Hey. We're coming, Gohan. We're coming, Chi-Chi. I forgot about that. I need to grab some river shrimp. Okay, Goku's house we go. Yep. Hello, Chi-Chi. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. <laughs> Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? <laughs> Okie dokie. I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Selected beast meat, frozen rabbit meat, and rat fat giant fish. Okay. Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. Cool. I like food. Great. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Chi Chi, I want my food. <sighs> Go on, please move. Thank you. All right, happy hunting. Hand over collective items. Chi Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. You know, one thing I thought they were gonna do that they didn't is uh, have Chi-Chi Chi -Chi comment on the fact that Goku and Gohan have blonde hair. Uh, one of the things that was a running joke for Dragon Ball Z for a little bit, I don't think it went on for too long, uh, but Chi-Chi was calling Gohan with blonde hair delinquent because he has blonde hair, which is weird, but like, it was kind of funny. And she's like, my son became a delinquent. We're gonna dye this hair back. And how do you explain that sand can turn their hair yellow or blonde, gold? Oh, wow! It smells delicious! I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun. I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, um ambience. is that it? Ambiance? I thought it was ambience. That's mm. what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do! We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Bancho fan. Bancho fan? I thought it was Bancho, not Bancho. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah, <sighs> such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, 
I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. That's nice of Gohan. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. That's nice. Hmm. I was I hoping to now? drive, to be honest. I was really hoping to drive. Phone call. Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Master Roshi? Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Three oh, member rights. That's not bad. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. <laughs> bad way to spend an afternoon. Uh, Goku's transformation now available. Hi, Bulma. Hi, Bulma. Is this everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh, hey, what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. <sighs> well, you are your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. Yeah, I mean, look at your future adult son. She's being your surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kind of numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So this is an android. Oh, his head's fixed. These things were built to kill dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm, almost. The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. I love how they still put the little uh, color symbol of the Red Ribbon Army. They used to the RR now, guess, uh. we stick it in the cranial chamber here and... In the anime, <laughs> does Android 816 Voila! still hate Goku? Or like, want to kill Goku? I don't remember. <laughs> Analyzing situation. He's online! Hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guys! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. H Hello? Hello there. Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son, son of Goku. Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku. 
not his offspring. <laughs> yeah, he still wants it. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. <clears throat> He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm. Well, I don't see a problem. Oh, we're gonna that. fight Android 16. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. One of the things they didn't mention is they actually took the bomb out of him. He had I will go bomb. on ahead. Find me in the forest. I wish they talked about it, but they didn't. Counting on you, Junior. R right. And he goes that way. No problem. Let me grab that too. Cool, thank you. And... 16, I'm almost here. I've got some apples on the way. Nice. I got some superb apples too. Dears! So, how's that body of yours? Hmm, satisfactory. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. Glad to hear that. Um, uh. Tears, oh. like them. So, do you like animals? Just pulled food out of his butt. Affirmative. His robotic butt. Put me at ease. I like animals too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to kill my dad affirmative that is my, my only directive i have no other use as a result i was declared defective and stored away huh i loathe conflict therefore as a weapon i am defective mm. that's no reason to shut you down dr jero once said he made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is not... Don't say that! It's the truth. Ha <laughs> ha! Those poachers. So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. Who are you people? They're uh, just folks. Look at them. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we'd fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Kohan. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. Hey, we got 16 to help us. Nope, never mind. Back up, back up. Oh god, come on! Ah! ah. Oh, I missed because I'm tiny. Oh, that didn't miss. Oh god! Boom, boom, boom. boom. Ah! I'm coming again! I'm coming in! There we go. Get so many blue ore. But not the you best. folks are crazier than a dog in a hubcap factory! Threat neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals, as well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies. Oh, it's no big deal. I'm sorry, guys. Hmm. The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. 
I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But my dad's way stronger. Huh. Like, huh. We are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are Sixteen and I alike? Let's go back and see your, uh, your family. How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android? Ha! It was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know! Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Ah, oh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay. Sure. So we're gonna do or it's intermission. Oh. Oh. So Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub. But nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. R really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Aww. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. Yeah, it makes sense. I wish they showed that, yeah, there was a semi-big army with tanks and everything fighting Cell. They just got wiped out. Super easy. H how terrible! Those were innocent people. <sighs> that monster! Here's the thing, Goku. Here's the thing. Is that... Yeah, he did promise, he did say not to kill anyone, but they, they antagonized him. Chi Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo. Oh, this is where we get uh, Dende. Right we get Dende here. Goku. And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Mr. Piccolo. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Wait here. Did Fingers he just, crossed. Did he vibrate? I feel like he vibrated for a second. I feel like Mr. Popo vibrated when he said this was a good idea. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivors' new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dende! Little green. Dende? Piccolo, it's been too long. Why does he look so angry? Wait one sec. I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy. Let's see. What? 
guys? Meet Earth's new guardian! Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages! Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, go on! See, it's great to see you. Now he doesn't you. look as so now he doesn't look so angry. Are are you really gonna be the new guardian? That's right! I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes. So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Huh? Is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. See, that's interesting. So they're saying you still have three wishes, but that will count as two wishes instead of one. But in the anime, they talk about, yeah, we can do that, but that will knock the wish count to two. Uh, instead of three wishes. All right. Huh. I'll begin Maybe right I just away. heard it wrong. We're in the anime or read it differently. I don't know. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? B but... Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. Are we going to search for the Dragon Balls now? Yes, we are. Well, time to get looking. <laughs> Dragon Balls, Dragon Balls, Dragon Balls. Looks like they're back in working order. Good. I'll say. Thanks, Dende. Dende! Little, little Dende. Oh. So, are you ready for the showdown with Cell? Cool, Just so that's where we have to start there. Perfect. Um, let me... Uh, yeah, we'll save here. So we're going to call it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see all you guys as we move forward to the end of the Cell Saga. So thank you again. Bye.